What's up everyone, this is JR Production X, and in this video I'm teach you guys how to completely erase everything off your Mac computer and how to install a fresh operating system. So th this is going to work for operating systems such as Mountainline, Mavericks, or even the new OS, which is Yosemite. So let's get started with this tutorial. The first step in this process is going to be to power down your Mac. After the computer has completely powered down and turned to a black screen, you want to hold down the power button and the options key at the same time. Keep on holding the options key until you see something that pops up that looks like this, then you want to let go. The next step is to select the recovery drive, then after that you just want to find your Wi-Fi and put in the password. You are going to need some type of internet so that you can completely wipe your data and then reinstall the software. After that, we're going to need to delete everything that's on the hard drive. So go to Disk Utility, click Continue. And then this is going to pop up. Click on Macintosh HD and then go to the Erase tab up on top. And I don't have to mess with any of the settings. Keep it how it is. And then click Erase. It's going to take less than a minute to completely wipe everything off your hard drive. And after that, you want to exit out. So right now there's completely nothing on your hard drive and it doesn't even have any software. To follow up that step, of course we're going to have to install some software. So click on reinstall OS X. If you do have a time machine, I would advise you to back up from your time machine. I just click on continue. Then after that, you just want to agree to the terms. And click agree. And then just select the Macintosh HD and that's the one that we completely erased everything from. And wiped it to brand new settings. So just click on that. Then after that you're just going to have to put in your Apple ID. Depending on your Wi-Fi connection this could take anywhere from 15 minutes to about 2 hours. Once I moved it to a spot with a reasonable Wi-Fi it only took 15 minutes to download the software. After about the 15 or 20 minutes it usually takes to download the software it's going to have to then install the software and this again is going to take about 15 to 20 minutes. As soon as the software is done installing on the Mac, it's going to be as if you're taking it out of the box for the very first time. So you're going to have the same setup process as before, such as your location, the keyboard, your Wi-Fi, and all that goodness. After the quick initial setup, it's going to start your computer as if the very first time. So you can go into your finder, you're not going to find any documents, any pictures, or anything like that. It's going to be like just as brand new with the brand new software that you installed on it. If this video helped you out, please help me out by giving me a thumbs up. If you guys have any video suggestions, leave that down in the comments below. I'll see you guys in the next one. And this is Jared Production X, signing off. Peace.